Greetings all, and a return to the Mortal Realms. In this video, I'm going to be making some themed Kinnerai. Yeah, that's definitely right. For my Daughters of Cain army, and that is likely going to be one of the only times I call them that in this video, as I've probably already mispronounced it. The standard flying ladies are great, but with my army theme being that they have been affected by the Realm of Life and are slightly more wood elven, I'm wanting to make a few changes. So the first step would be to cut out and build the body for one of these ladies, as that part will be staying mostly standard. I'll also be removing the wings from the sprue, as they are designed in such a way that half a shoulder and a chunk of the chest is attached to at least one wing. Though the wings will be kept separate as they are the most major change in this build. Once the body is glued together, I'm going to take one of the wings, in this case the right one with half the shoulder on it, and trim off the actual bat wing part, keeping close to the shoulder. This piece could then be tidied up with my knife and glued in place on the body. For the replacement wings, I shall be raiding the Dark Eldar Scourge kit from 40k. These feathery wings will give the ladies a more of a bird-like appearance, which will fit nicely in with the idea I see for the rest of my army. They do have these pipes running through them in places, and on a test model I did remove them, but it was a bit of an ordeal sculpting the feathers beneath, so I have elected to leave them on with the rest of the squad. Painted up in a leather colour, or even maybe gold, they could easily be some sort of decoration. Now the wings will need a bit of a trim to fit on these bodies, as most of the flying ladies are somewhat contorted compared to the Dark Eldar that donated said wings. To start with, I compared the parts and could see that it would not take a lot to get the wings to fit. Using my clippers, I could remove a number of the lower feathers and the squared off mounting point, which would have attached them to the scourges. And once that was done, I could come in with my knife and shape it up, trying to make it look as realistic as possible. Originally, I had intended to leave the hole in her left shoulder, as it was rather small, and I thought that the wing would cover it well. However, on reflection, I decided that I would probably need to fill it. An easy option here would have been to use some green stuff or milliput and fill the hole with that. But I did not fancy waiting for the putty to cure, so instead I'm going to be clipping off the end of the bat wing that would have originally gone here. I have an idea for those wings that won't be needing it anyways. And once it was carefully cut off, I could glue it into place on her shoulder. This would need a few minutes to set before I can do anything, but a few minutes is still shorter than the 24 hours that the putty would have needed. So whilst waiting on the glue to do its thing, I can work on shaping the other wing, using the first one as a guide to make its twin. With both of the wings trimmed to size, I could come in and deal with the connection points for the old one, using my clippers and knife to take those nubs off at a more sensible level. It doesn't have to be perfect here though, as the wings when they are glued to her shoulders do a good enough job of covering most of this area up anyway. A little bit of plastic glue added and the wings could be brought in one at a time, giving them a little time to set between and taking some time to make sure that the angles were at least vaguely similar. Now I used plastic glue on this, but pinning them and using wire and super glue might prove a bit stronger in the long run. That being said, those tails that hold them to the base are not exactly the strongest thing in the world either, so I'm going to be taking extra care of these ladies anyway. Once the wings are set nicely and not just going to fall off, I could come in with the original arms for the model and glue them into place. With my positioning of the new wings being similar to the old, it meant that major adjustments should not be necessary, though one of the test models did require a little bit of a reposition on her spear arm. Now for the head. I'm going to be using the hair from the Kinnerai kit itself, but instead of this here face, I'm going to be taking one from the Sisters of the Thorn kit, a kit which I love for making this army, and I will be very, very sad if it goes away. Another option instead of using the original hair would be to use the hair from the Sisters of the Thorn kit, but as mine has already been picked clean of those parts, I guess I'm doing this instead. Now the original head I'm using for the flying lady here had half of the hair attached to it. This can be easily removed with the clippers and the cuts tied it up a bit with my knife before gluing the two halves of the hair together. The fit of the hair wasn't actually too bad. However, a slight rounding off of the cut edges would be needed for it to fit the new face and give the glue some more surface area to work with. 
the neck on the model here has a small tab sticking out that is intended to go into the chin area of the original head. But as I've changed that, the tab will need to come off so that the newer head will fit nicely. With the tab removed and some glue added, the head can be positioned onto the neck, pretty much finishing the model. With a base to match my army, a paint job, and a few of her sisters later, and my realm of life, flying ladies are finished. The wings took inspiration from some local species of parrot, though I think they do need a little more highlighting to really pop, which is a job for another day when I'm not quite so rushed off my feet. So with that, I hope you enjoyed this video. My next one is probably gonna be heading back into the 41st millennium, as I have a fair few models and ideas piling up, a common issue with most hobbyists, I suspect. If you did enjoy this one, then why not drop a like and subscribe if you haven't done so already, and I guess I'll see you next time. So stay safe and have a good one all.